Hello everyone, welcome to this video of Recruiter Flow. In this video, we are going to see how you can use recipes to automate your administrative tasks and emails to save hours and hours of your time every day. Let's jump right into it. Recipes have mainly two parts, triggers and actions. Triggers are conditions uh, when met, a certain action will be taken. For example, I have configured this trigger that whenever a candidate gets disqualified from a front-endly developer role and they're disqualified directly from the applied stage, automatically send this email to the candidate. And there are multiple triggers that you can use. Another very common use case is that whenever a candidate is moved from, let's say, applied stage, oops, applied stage to a phone screen stage, and you can automatically send out an email to the candidate that hey we love your application and would love to set up a time to talk there are multiple triggers available uh, you can have four triggers whenever a candidate applies gets disqualified gets sourced or a candidate stage moves from one stage to another you can uh, have a recipe applicable to all jobs just the jobs where you are either a recruiter or a hiring manager or specific jobs that you can specify once you select this option. Uh, in terms of action, there are two main actions available, send email and move stage. Uh, when you say send email, uh, you can send emails to uh, the candidate, the contact, a hiring manager, recruiter, lead owner of the candidate, or anybody specific that you would want. Once you have set up these recipes, uh, the recipes will start running and uh, you will on an average our users save at least four to five hours of their time every week by setting up recipes if you have any questions or face any trouble feel free to chat with us on our live chat support all right thank you so much for uh, taking a look at our video